How's it going, everyone, and welcome to Pretty Please. This is a game where you meet a fairly suspicious-looking doctor, and hey, I'm all for it. Let's get right into it. Hello, welcome to the Absolute Beauty Clinic. ABC for short. Hello, doctor. This is my first time in a beauty clinic. I found you through an ad online, and I didn't know what to expect. I didn't expect you to be so handsome. Is that, that is no problem at all. I, I'm glad to. I'm glad you decided to visit today. Uh, we will take very good care of you. You have nothing to worry about. Please, uh, to have a seat. Uh, I know you already gave your information at the reception desk, but I'd like to start at the very beginning with my clients. Could you please tell me your name? Uh, my name. My name is Lionel. My name is Lionel. I see. It's a pleasure seeing you today, Lionel. Thank you. How old are you? My age, yeah, 25. Uh, my 25th birthday was actually a couple months back. I see. Happy birthday. Thank you. Any noteworthy health issues? Diabetes, chronic illness, medication we need to be aware of? Uh, well, this is a lie. I am not fit as a fiddle. I have very... I have many things wrong up here. Excellent. And what are your hobbies? Huh. Is doing this really important to my treatment? Of course. Well, in my free time, I'm always flirting with doctors like you. Hmm, flirting with doctors like you? Is there something wrong with it? Not at all. All right, this is all written down now. One last question, if I may. Uh, is the price for the different treatments important to you? Eh, not really. I'm sure it's worth it. I see. Thank you for your trust. So, tell me about your expectations of this treatment. What are you hoping to change? Well, I'm hoping, honestly, um, my skin right now, because uh, I, I do, I, I am having eczema at the moment, so that's not fun. I'm gonna be honest, my skin isn't the greatest, and I have dark circles around my eyes. My forehead's a little too yellow, my nose is too red, my lips are a bad color overall. Like, oh my god, do I really hate myself that much? Every time I go for a job interview, they either reject me because I look way older than I really am. Well, actually, I get hired because I look older than I am. Or I end up piling a bunch of makeup to hide it, and they assume I'm a shallow floozy. I'm hoping with a better face, I can finally get a job, a spouse, and start my life with you, doctor. I understand. We'll give you the best face you could ever wish for. It depends on how much you're willing to pay for it. Different treatments have different prices, right? It sits in the price roster in the lobby. Ah, yes. Yeah, it was before you asked for a completely new face. Huh? I will give you a new face. One you can tailor to your own preferences. You see, this uh, beauty clinic full of doctors, but me personally, I'm gifted. For the right price, I can make you thinner, fatter, blonder, more tan, less hairy. It is even possible to cure some annoyances you kept putting up with. The acne scar, the ripple of fat under your clothes, that strange mole in your right leg, the crooked teeth that clicks sometimes when you talk. But yeah, anything that might shake your self-confidence, I will help you through. And for that, I only ask that you part with whatever you deem disposable. Uh, let's be honest, everyone thinks money is both disposable and precious. But I came here knowing very well that I'm going to be missing quite a chunk of funds. It's why I came here in the first place. So I'm okay with anything you ask for. Anything you ask for, doctor. Mmm, you need a complete makeover. Can you afford it? Wow, thanks for the boost of confidence, doctor. Here's the deal. I will give you some options, and after you decide on your ideal face, we will calculate the price and discuss payment options. Does that sound okay to you? Sure. Excellent. Okay, what about the eyes? Uh, I guess... God, I, I don't want either of these. Why are these options? Gosh darn. Blue eyes? I, I guess I could freak some people out. Is that even possible? Of course. But is it really possible? Yes. You're not the first one to ask for that. Okay, what about your hair? Ooh, okay. Uh, pastel colored and wavy. Go big or go home. Yeah, up to date with the fashion, I see. Wonderful. You also mentioned a certain dissatisfaction with nose and skin. What about your skin? Would you like to fix? Oh god, oh, the dry and flaky. Even if I use a primer and moisturizer, foundation still looks like a sand dune. It o it's always too dry no matter what I use. Did you try drinking more water perhaps? Huh? 
Eh, it's usually the case. For now, let's try to heal that distress complexion, yes? Eh, don't you ever let your skin just breathe on off days? You don't understand. Some people aren't allowed to have off days. I see. Move along. What about Mr. Nose? Uh, let's see. I guess, uh, make it less red and oily. Just want to have a good morning selfie for once. Simple enough. Anything else you'd like to address? Um, well, I guess... Taller? Do I really want to be taller? I, I guess I want to be at the same height as my favorite Yandere boys. Is that even possible? Anything is possible. Now that we've got everything down, I need to discuss the price of you. You take uh, credit cards? No. Money's for clients who want laser hair removal and tattooed eyeliner. What you ask for requires a personalized payment plan. I could pay in installments? You can pay with, uh, let's see. Ooh, okay. Sense of direction, ability to see colors, parting with a precious memory. Eh, precious memory it is. You can just uh, take one? Yeah, but how? How what? Huh? What were we just talking about just now? Nothing important. You're joking, right? You're trying to teach me a lesson or something. It's not my business to teach you lessons. I think this is all of it. Let me just add all of this up. Well then, Lionel. Give me your hands and close your eyes. This will only hurt for a minute. And then, your wonderful new life will begin. I'm a little more beautiful now, but nothing changed. I still didn't get a job with my partner. And now I don't even feel like myself. I look in the mirror and I'm just different enough to not recognize myself, but still seem old downer me. I wonder what would have happened if I asked for better things. If I could go back, I probably will make better choices. Mildly mortified. Yeah, let's go back. Hi, sorry, I'm just very nervous. Nervous? Why would you be nervous? I'm actually not sure. It almost feels like I've been here before. Oh. It's a clinic that cozy. I guess. Please, do have a seat. And you already gave your information to the reception desk. I'd like to start from the very beginning of my clients. Whatever. Even returning ones. What? What's your name today? Today? I mean, what is your name on this nice day? Okay, it's still Lionel. My name's Lionel. I see. It's a pleasure seeing you again, Lionel. Have we met before? Did I say again? I meant great. How old are you? Uh, it's 25. My 25th birthday was actually a couple months ago. See, happy birthday. What are your hobbies? I don't usually get asked about this. I'm not a talented person. Anything is fine. I need to have the boxes filled out regardless of your talents. Can I say something like flirting with doctors like you or... Of course. But why that in particular? I don't know. Uh, maybe because um, you're a beautiful doctor. Well, in my free time, I'm always flirting with doctors like you. <laughs> Flirting with doctors like you. Is there something wrong with it? No, not at all. Okay, is the price of the different treatments important to you? Uh, I'm sure it's worth it. I see. Okay, here we go. Okay, I want to fix this and that. I actually like a consultation. Consultation? About what? About my face. What do you think I should change to look better? Are you asking for my opinion as a doctor or as a person? Because the answer would change drastically. Then, as a professional... What do the treatments usually get asked for? In my particular office, acne treatments and rhinoplasty. That is, no surgeries. Great! I'm hoping with a better face, I can get a job, a spouse, and start my life. Uh, let's see. Different treatments have different prices, right? You would know. I kind of hate you right now. Yeah. Yeah, you couldn't stop yourself from coming back, could you? Uh, I'll give you some options, and after you decide on your ideal face... We'll calculate the price and discuss payment options. I have a bad feeling about this. It's not scary at all. Our staff ex are expertly trained. You're in good hands. I meant the price thing. Don't worry. You'll only pay what you're comfortable with. Okay. Uh, what about your eyes? Oh, wait, what? I can have laser vision! Laser vision! That's unusual. I know, right? Unless you can't do it. I can, but it'll cost you. YOLO! Am I right? Uh. But is it really possible? Yes. You're not the first one who asked for that. Nice. Okay, about my hair. I would like it. Man, let's go for something different. Super tight curls and very big. I was wanted to rock an afro. 
That shouldn't be too difficult with your current hair texture. The shade. Whatever could you mean? You also mentioned a certain dissatisfaction with nose and skin. What about your nose? Could you fix? Can I be green? <laughs> you mean your skin? Yeah. I want to be an all-star. Sure. Don't you ever let your skin just breathe on off days? Okay, what about your nose? Yeah, let's leave it alone for now. I think we should wait for the results of a more basic treatment before getting something drastic. You don't want the half price discount? It's a discount? It was on the price list on the reception hall. You got a half price discount for every treatment if you get a nose job. It's a popular request, you see, so we advertise the less significant treatments alongside it. Now I'm conflicted. Anything else you'd like to address? Ah, huh. I always wanted to smell like strawberries. Sounds weird, but I heard about a, er, an herb that does this. Instead of sweat, you just smell nice all the time. Oh, yes, we can do that. Oh, God, really? Give it to me. Maybe then going to a sauna will be a pleasant experience. I know, right? Now that we got everything down, I need to discuss the price with you. Sure. You already know money is only required for basic treatments, so please choose the one you are least likely to miss. Ooh, I don't mind not sleeping soundly, because hell, I don't sleep anyway. Uh, lately I find myself unable to sleep, so I'm giving you my insomnia. Look, aren't I a generous one? What? You're joking, right? Try to teach me a lesson or something. It's not my business to teach you a lesson. I think this is all of it. Let me just add all this up. Well then, Lionel. Give me your hands and close your eyes. This will only hurt for a few days. And then, your overall appearance will increase by just a small bit. I made a horrible choices. <laughs> I'm beautiful, but now I have stalkers. An endless line of low-level suitors. Lots of haters and job offers in a field I'm not interested in. I want to be a rich businesswoman, not a generic Instagram face. Wish I could go back and redo it all again. I'll make better choices, I promise! Oh, significantly sad. <laughs> okay, cool. AKA the one where you became Shrek. I became Shrek? I'm sorry, what? That's amazing! New game Plus Plus is now available. You raked up 50 beauty points. You can still go on. Hello, welcome to the Absolute Beauty Clinic. ABC for short. That still sounds dumb. You didn't have a problem with it before now. Uh, I thought it was corny the very first time I heard it, but I didn't say anything. Showing your true colors, I see. Whatever. Please, do have a seat. I know you already gave your information at the reception desk, but I'd like to start over from the very beginning with my clients, even returning ones. Why are you calling yourself today? Still Lionel. My name's Lionel. That's what you're going with today? Yeah. Suit yourself. How old are you? My age is still 25. 25 or something around that something around that you're not sure how old you are doesn't matter beauty is ageless chill any noteworthy health issues diabetes chronic illnesses medication we need to be aware of nah it's not a big deal but lately it almost feels like i can't smell much i mean i can still smell things but the other day i forgot the breakfast toast in the toaster oven and i didn't realize it was burned to a crisp until it was lunchtime sounds more like a memory loss problem yeah, yeah. Anything else? I don't think so. And what are your hobbies? Hobbies? Things you do because you enjoy them. Painting, reading magazines, watching YouTube videos. You know, hobbies. Some people will have more than one, actually. You think I would know what a hobby is at this age? Yeah, sorry, I must be too nervous to function like a normal human being. It's fine. You can choose things you think you would enjoy, even if you can't actually do them. Anything at all, like flirting with doctors like you or something. Huh? Why does that sound familiar? I'm always flirting with doctors like you. Uh, flirting with doctors like you? Is there something wrong with it? Not at all. All right, it's all written down now. One last question, if I may. Uh, is the price of different treatments born to you? Yeah, I'm sure it's worth it. I see. Thank you for your trust. So tell me about your expectations on treatment. What are you hoping to change? Uh, let's see. This and that. I'd actually like a consultation. You said that like I haven't paid enough already. I like to think I've been more than generous, to be honest. Others were not as lucky. So what about the eyes? Well, let's see. I guess laser vision. That's unusual. That's all right. Whatever. 
Uh, we'll go straight and super thick. I want it to be easier to handle every day. That's a reasonable request. Very easy to do, too. You also mentioned a certain dissatisfaction with nose and skin. All right. Uh, yeah, just fix the discoloration everywhere. The mustache area is always dark, even if I remove all the hair. My nose is too red. I have a lot of acne scarring, and my forehead is too yellow compared to the rest of my face. You can probably see the dark circles around my eyes. I use up a concealer like it was toothpaste. Doesn't that increase the stress in the skin, though? Huh? All that cream clogging up the pores? That's yeah, fine. What else can you do about it? Don't you ever just let your skin breathe on off days? I don't get off days. What about your nose? Eh, yeah, make, make it a completely different shape. Never fit my face anyway. Aren't you afraid it will hurt? My schedule is open for the next three weeks. There will be a lot of painkillers on the market. Even if it hurts, I'll still have the time to heal before the next job interview. I see you came prepared. Of course. Anything else you'd like to address? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, I still want to smell like strawberries. Okay, here we go. I already know what you're going to ask. Just take it. Take all of it. You can pay with... Ooh, my sanity! How much sanity exactly? As much as you're willing to part with. Any missing sanity is too much sanity. Alright then, how about 25% sanity? That's a very specific number. Almost random. That's my age though. Oh, is it? I didn't notice it at all. Or do you want to part with one of the others? By all means, roll back and choose a different price. Eh, just kidding. I'm not that nice. Going back and changing your choices has been disabled. I think this is all of it. Lionel, don't you ever learn? You've already spent so much trying to be someone new. Were you really that dissatisfied with who you were when you started? Ah, uh, gosh. At this point, I don't even know where to stop. Help me. Yeah, fine. If I take away everything I've given you and give you back what was yours, would you stop this endless cycle of agony? Yeah. This will permanently erase any progress you make. Continue. No, give me another chance. I've already spent too much to try to become someone new. I want to be the most beautiful in the world. We can do this forever and ever. I'm a genie with too much time on my hands. You don't even realize how insignificant your struggles are to me. Stop yapping and make me more beautiful. Once. Just once. I want somebody to walk out and never come back. You're getting a lot in return, you know. Cash and body parts and human emotions. Yes. Do you ever wonder what I do with all the things you give me? No. I give them out to another client who wants them. That is my gift. Because you always want what someone else has. It just happens that they want what you have. The money simply trickles somewhere in between. Where's your personality now, Lionel? With your love for flirting with doctors like you. You wasted so much of your time and essence to be the most beautiful. And yet, there's still someone out there who would disagree. Like who? I'm sure there's somebody. Just coming from a plastic surgeon, the problem in your life are still there, if not more. You were still the same person every time you stepped foot in my office. You change your name every time, but I know it's you. There's a reason why there's a limit of how beautiful a person can be. Beauty, no matter how striking, it's still in the eyes of the beholder. I don't even know what that means. It means you're considered adequately beautiful as long as somebody thinks you are. Even yourself. I don't think that's true. You wouldn't have skin treatments and flat irons if it was. Some say beauty is a blooming rose. Others would only appreciate it when it's in their hands. You forget that there are still those who gaze at it lovingly, even when it's dried and pressed into bookmarks. What? Nobody can bloom forever, Lionel. Not even the rose itself. All you can do is appreciate it however it is presented to you. As you witness it beforehand, having confidence in beauty is important and healthy. But without limits, aiming for ultimate beauty leads to destruction. Because there is no such thing as ultimate beauty. It doesn't exist. It is a man-made illusion. This is I have tricked you, shamed you, and warped you into accepting treatments you didn't initially need. There are thousands of others selling snake oil to anybody who could afford it. And it never ends. If we pressed you enough, you will eventually come to accept that you are never good enough until you have passed some vague criteria. Every time you pass the requirements, we change it up so you will visit us again. We will reach a point where nothing more can be done eventually. When you're satisfied with your hair, we'll point out your height. If you want thicker eyebrows, we'll take it out of fashion. 
Soon you will come to me to change your vocal cords or maybe decrease the size of your elbow. I just want to be loved. I want to be appreciated and admired. I want to find a place where I belong. A job, a career. I give up anything for that. I don't doubt that for a second. I keep repeating, but you don't listen. You're not the first one to ask for that. I only started this business after using my own gifts on my own wife, you see. She spent so much of her time being in pain, hoping to be more beautiful. After every treatment, I would tell her that she didn't need to do any of it. She had been beautiful from the day we met. At the time, she said it was all for me. Now? Now if I saw her on the street, I wouldn't even recognize her. She wouldn't recognize me either. Because eventually, she decided her love and time were wasted on me. That she could do better. And exchange those tender sentiments for longer legs. Oh. Hey. You want to go back? An ending or two ago where you're missing a few things but still yourself? You still make it. It's already gone. I can give it back. No. I'd like to give it back. I might just do that, actually. Promise me that you will be kind to yourself today. Be kind to others while they try to find themselves, too. Even if they're trying to find it in a beauty clinic. Beauty might be a human construct, but we've, how we feel about ourselves is very real. So if you're doing it, do it for yourself. Only your opinion matters. True truths. And I have 74 points, but what are they good for? Finish the game. Congratulations. Well, that was pretty please. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I feel like that was a beautiful message at the very end of it. I hope you guys take care of yourselves, and really, hey, you are beautiful the way you are, okay? No matter how you are, eh, heck, there's someone out there who loves you. And this is normally where I plug everything in the description, but the only thing I'm going to plug is this game itself. You can play it if you like. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. This is Lionel, signing out. Ciao.